Welcome to this edition of the Dean's Video Newsletter. I want to welcome everybody back. This is the beginning of another academic year for us, and it proves to be a very exciting year coming up, in fact, for several years coming forward. Today, I want to spend a little bit of time uh, discussing with you competency-based medical education. This is a mammoth undertaking. It's going to take several years to bring about, but it is something that we need to do. Often, the very first question that we get is, so really, what are we talking about when we're talking about competency-based medical education? CBME is outcomes-oriented medical education. So what we do is we start with the outcomes that we require our graduates to have. What do we need them to be able to do when they go out into the world of healthcare? And we work backward from there. We develop a curriculum that enables them to have the experiences that they will need to, to get to those outcomes. And then we develop an assessment program that helps us to ensure that they've really got those skills by the time they graduate. The reasons for going into competency-based education are really very, very wide. Uh, and there are numerous ones. Uh, it's as simple as the pragmatics of we are being asked uh, by the Royal College and by the College of Family Physicians and Surgeons uh, to really implement these criteria at the postgraduate training level. So we have an exciting opportunity at our school to adopt CBME approaches across all of our programs, uh, but we're starting in postgraduate medical education. Um, and so we've got some programs that have already started and other programs that will be coming online in 2017. What we have a chance to do is really learn from the experience of postgrad and apply the lessons that we uh, that we learned from the postgrad experience to undergrad to CPD and to adopting this philosophy across the spectrum. What's different about us here is that I've really challenged our faculty and our education leadership to look at this in an entirely different light. There's not a lot of pedagogy on this, and so one of the challenges that I've put forward to our educators is to do this in a manner in which we become content leaders and thought leaders uh, within this field. What does this mean for us as a school? It does mean upheaval. Uh, there's really no way of getting around it. Uh, this is a significant shift in our, chain, in our training programs. Either we do it in a piecemeal fashion and we bring on small parts um, at any given time uh, and hope that they sequentially line up, or we look at it as a, as a single effort to span our curriculum from entry right through to our continuing medical education. For those of you colleagues who understand our budgetary process and how tight things are across the board, this is not revenue neutral. There's, there's no way that it can be. Uh, so we are going to have to be looking at what aspects of the organization can we do more tightly or less expensively in, in order to free up the funds to really bring this about. The team that I've brought together to look at this is still being assembled as we speak, but it has education scholars so that we can look at how we're developing this, how do we measure it, how do we get new learnings from it. People who understand the implementation of education changes in real time administrative individuals who are going to be responsible for actually looking at the backbone of all this and a number of colleagues from both the basic as well as the clinical sciences because this does span the entirety of our training programs. I'll be coming to your individual departments, I'll be coming to town halls, uh, stop me in the hall, grab a cup of coffee, whatever is needed. We really need to, to have discussions around how we're moving this forward and indeed this is something that I will be personally looking at very very carefully and take responsibility for. So at the end of the day Welcome back to what absolutely is going to be a very exciting time period for us. A lot of change, but I really do think we're up to it. Just look at what we've achieved in the last few years. So, thank you very much. I look forward to our next conversation.